In the driving test, the tester may ask you, how would you check your reflectors on the car? In this video, I'm going to answer that question in a clear and simple way, so you can be as prepared as possible, just in case that question arises on your test. If you are learning to drive, if you are looking to improve your skills, if you are kind of an intermediate driver looking to make some improvements, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell notification where you can be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you enjoy my content and you want to support me, you can do so by making a voluntary donation by PayPal. Links will be in the description and thanks very much for your support. So what is a reflector? A car reflector is a red piece of plastic with these tiny little prisms which glow or reflect light when a light source is pointed at it. All cars must have them and they can come in slightly different shapes and sizes. For example, this Kia has horizontal reflectors while this Toyota here has more vertical ones. You'll notice from the photos that the reflectors look the same on either side and they are symmetrical. So that means they are the same in terms of shape and size and they are like a mirror image of each other in the same way as your left hand is a mirror image of your right hand. Your car reflectors should also be symmetrical in terms of height. Both reflectors should be the same height either side. So for example, the right reflector must not be at a higher level than the left reflector. In some cases, the reflectors are built into the main body of backlights, and in other cases, they are separate, for example, down on the bumper. The job of the reflector is to reflect light at night, which means your vehicle will be easier to see and other road users will be more aware of your presence, thereby increasing safety for everyone. Reflectors are generally red, although sometimes on bigger vehicles like trucks, they may have amber reflectors along the side. It's incredibly important that your reflectors are kept clean, intact and free from any breaks, scratches, cracks or damage. I'm going to show you how you can check that your reflectors are working properly now, but first of all, let's find out exactly where the reflectors are on my car. So on my car, which is an Opel Corsa, you can see here that the reflectors are within the main body of the backlights and they're just along the bottom here. They kind of make, I suppose you could call it like a knife shape going across. Uh, they're very much horizontal and that's just where they happen to be on the Opel Corsa. So this was me a few nights ago, just testing that the reflectors were working effectively and properly. What I'm doing here is I'm shining a light um, from just level or slightly behind the camera and I'm shining this light I'm kind of tilting it up and down and you can see then that the reflectors are working perfectly because they're reflecting the light of my torch um, back against me and that means that they're working absolutely fine and that's how you would check the reflectors at night get some kind of a light source like like a flashlight or a torch of some type and tilt it up and down from a distance of approximately five or ten meters back and there you can see then that the reflectors are reflecting the light and thereby working properly and increasing safety for everyone. So if the driving tester asks you, how would you check that your reflectors are working properly? Here are the main points you need to remember. Make sure that your reflectors are clean and the correct color. That color is red. They should be free of any breaks or cracks or damage they must be securely fitted. They should be matching in terms of size and appearance, and they must be symmetrical. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to let me know in the comments section if you have any questions about the driving test. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll be back soon. Bye for now.